right here at talking about stuff between 10.1 and 10.4, because 10.4 is more of this. So I'm going to talk about this line. Now, this is not a line. This is a segment, right? It ends. It has endpoints, not arrows. It has endpoints. Mm. So the domain is the x values that this segment could include. Okay? So the domain, x has to be between what two numbers? Negative 3 and 6. Okay, so we say negative 3, x has to be greater than or equal to it. And x has to be less than or equal to 6. So we put x in the middle, and then these numbers. So I really wish we would pay attention, guys, instead of playing on our phone or doing something else. You're going to ask me this in two seconds because you don't know. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3. See, negative 3 is right here. And x is less than or equal to 6. So it's in between those. OK, let's talk about the range. What is y greater than or equal to? Eight, negative 8. And what is y less than or equal to? 4. It's between these two numbers, right? Right here and right here. Because it's in, it's bigger than negative 8, right? But it's less than 4. Okay? Because it's going upwards. Pardon for the interruption. Attention all staff. At this time, could you please dismiss the boys' varsity golf team to attend their golf meet? Once again, please dismiss the boys' varsity golf team to attend their golf meet. Also, could you please dismiss the girls' JV softball team to meet their bus at the West End School Door? Once again, please dismiss the girls' JV softball team to meet their bus at the West End School Door. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. We are looking at the back page, the front of the back page, number one. Is everybody here? Get to this page. All right. We're going to plug these numbers in first. Remember to make the cube root on your calculator. It's right, the little up button next to 4. If you hit control that, you put in X. And so we're going to put in numbers for that. Okay. Cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. Cube root of 0 is 0, cube root of 1 is 1, and cube root of 8 is 2. So at negative 8, I'm at negative 2. At negative 1, I'm at negative 1. At 0, I'm at 0. At 1, I'm at 1. And at 8, I'm at 2. So we have that little funky cube root. Okay, what is the domain for this? What are the possible x's? All real numbers. Remember, I do that double R for all real numbers. What about the range? All, all, real, numbers. all real numbers. As infinity goes on, it gets closer and closer to yeah, infinity. Just like an R and infinity. Remember, this packet is just here. Okay. Minimum and maximum. Does it have a minimum or maximum? No. No, not. Did it vertically shift up or down? No. No. Did it horizontally shift right or left? No. Is there a line of symmetry? Yes. No. It's not symmetric. If I folded this in half, do you see how this would go up here? Mm -hmm. And this would go near and here? They don't meet each other. So it's not symmetric. End behavior. As x approaches infinity, what does y approach? Infinity. Infinity, right? Mm -hmm. Keeps going up. As x approaches negative infinity, so that's to the left, what is y approaching? Negative infinity. Good. Okay. So you think of it this way. When it says x is approaching infinity, you're saying as x, as we're going to the right, what's y doing? Going up. Going up. So that's why we say it's positive infinity. Okay? Negative infinity means we're going to the left. So as x approaches, is getting smaller and smaller, going to those negative numbers, what is y doing? That's why we say negative infinity. Okay? So how did I know, if I wasn't looking at the graph, how did I know there was no vertical shift? Because we remember, right, that they go under here? Because, um, 
right? Yeah. Something underneath the cube root changes it to go right to left. Outside the cube root makes it go up or down. Yes. Or you could say it's the parent function. So it is the like parent function. Yeah. Snap under the table. Right. Okay. So you have the rest of the hour to work on this. The front page, we're working on domain range, vertical shift, and you have to come up with the equation. Okay? That's the front page, front and back. Okay? Then two, three, and four is dealing with the same thing, except I'm giving you part of the table and the equation. You're making the graph minimum, vertical, horizontal, line of symmetry, and end behavior. Okay? And then we'll go over the answers.